Greetings everyone. Today we are going to learn a quick tooltip tutorial. We will be using simple CSS and will not be using any plugin. So it will look something like this. And you can also use additional CSS to change the colors or width and many more. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now in order to implement tooltip, let's open our browser and go to our sample website heyletslearnsomething.com slash test. So this is a default WordPress website and we'll quickly learn about tooltip. Let's first log into the dashboard slash wp-admin. Enter the credentials. By the way, if you want this kind of additional protection to your login, please do check our other video. Anyway, enter the password. So now we are in the back end of our website. Let's go to the pages and create a new page. I will give the page title as test and let me add a short code. Please note that the code we are going to use will work on most of the themes, so you can use it accordingly. Now let me quickly show you the codes I am going to use. So basically, we will be using these simple codes for the tooltip. Here you can write any text you want. This will be visible on the front end. This U is basically for the underline. If you remove it, there will be no any underline. Anyway. Any text you add here will only be shown on mouse over to this text. You can add links or anything as required. Anyway, let's demonstrate. Let me copy this and paste it in the SOC code and publish. Now if I view the page, nothing really happens. Now we need to add a quick CSS to make it work. So here is the CSS code we are going to use. You can paste this CSS to where the theme permits or at this style sheet. Or you can also go to the dashboard, go to appearance and customize and click on additional CSS and copy the CSS and paste it here and publish. Now if I refresh the space and if I hover on it, it seems to work. Now each theme will be different on how things work. For example, if I want to move this to right, I will have to add in some CSS. Simply if I write margin lift 30% and publish and if I refresh the space, it will come to the center. If you want to change the width or background color or font color for this hover text, you can do that too. Go back to the CSS. For width, choose the value that works best for you. Choose any color you want for the background. I will put red. Please use hex codes for colors. Likewise, this is a font color. I will choose yellow. You can also choose the padding, but it's fine for now. Publish. Again a reminder, you can put this CSS on your style sheet or wherever your theme permits. Anyway, let me refresh the base. So it's working all good. So this is how you can use the tooltip on your website. Hope this lesson was useful. Thank you very much.